Welcome back. This is the last uh, lesson of uh, session two of machine learning for regression. So here we will summarize uh, what we learned uh, in the session. So here we did a project uh, for pre predicting the price of a car. Um, and we downloaded a data set uh, that had uh, uh, prices and different uh, characteristics uh, of a car. Um, so we had uh, things like uh, model, make, year, engine fuel type, uh, transmission type, all these things. And we wanted to predict uh, this price uh, MSRP, um, which stands for manufacturer suggested retail price. price. Um, so first, what we did is we cleaned uh, the data set. We prepared it so it looks uh, um, a bit uh, uh, uniform, more uniform, because here we have like sp spaces here, uh, capital case, lower case, and we made it uniform. Um, so we don't have here. So we made it uniform, so it uh, looks cleaner. Then we did exploratory data analysis, and we here identified that uh, uh, we have this long tail uh, distribution of price, and we removed the long tail by applying the logarithmic transformation to data. And, uh, and this is a good idea because with the long tail, um, so when the distribution has a long tail, usually machine learning models have problems. Then uh, there are also missing data, and this later we saw that with missing data, um, we cannot really train a model, so we need to do something with this. So we did then uh, set a validation framework, uh, and like we did the split between uh, training, validation, and set and test. Uh, um, then we looked at uh, linear regression. So how does it work for a single example? So we implemented it uh, as a uh, simple formula using a for loop, which later then we expanded to the vector form or matrix form uh, using a dot product. Uh, and then um, like we also expressed it as a uh, matrix vector multiplication. And then we the result of uh, linear regression, the output is uh, the weights vector the bias term and the weights. And then we looked at how to actually train a model, how to obtain these weights. And we saw that uh, it, machine learning is not magic. So it's uh, just a formula. And this formula is called a normal equation. And we implemented this normal equation in NumPy. So we have uh, here the implementation. And with this implementation, we trained our first model. Uh, the baseline model that only used the basic uh, basic uh, numerical features, baseline features, uh, five of them. So the model didn't do really well, as we saw in a graph. Uh, but uh, just judging from a graph is not uh, always easy uh, to understand what is uh, the uh, like. Uh, it's not easy to objectively measure the performance of a model. So that's why we talked about root mean square error. Uh, which is a metric for evaluating the quality of uh, regression models. So we talked uh, about that. And then we built this uh, uh, validation uh, framework in a way. So we uh, uh, used this prepareX function that allowed us to have the same way of preparing um, this feature matrix for a different data set for train and validation, which later allowed us to experiment a lot faster. So we just uh, re redefined this function, and uh, uh, that let us simplify the process. So we were basically just copy uh, copy pasting this cell uh, throughout the less, uh, throughout the session. Um, yeah. So then, uh, like after, uh, yeah, I think after that we did uh, simple feature engineering. And feature engineering is a process of creating new features from existing ones. So we uh, created a feature H that improved uh, the performance of our model drastically, as we see here. So the distributions now match the predicted distribution and uh, the, the actual values. Well, not exactly, but at least they match better than previously. 
And then we looked at how uh, to integrate categorical variables. Um, and here we represented uh, each categorical variable with a bunch of uh, uh, binary columns, binary features. Um, and actually this way of uh, encoding categorical variables is called uh, one-hot encoding. And we will talk uh, about that in more details in the next uh, uh, session when we talk about classification. So we did that, and then after that, we found out that the performance of our model degraded significantly. So all of a sudden, RMSE became very huge. And uh, because luckily we had this validation framework, we had this validation data set, we could spot the problem easily. And uh, the reason for that was the numerical instability, which we discussed next. And uh, as a way to solve this numerical instability, we used regularization. We added a, sim uh, a small number to the diagonal of this uh, matrix X transpose X before uh, inverting it, which uh, uh, helped us. And we noticed, uh, we saw that the performance of our model after including all these categorical features uh, increased quite a lot compared to the previous version. And then we, uh, after that, we tried different uh, values of regularization parameter to find out what is the best one. And we concluded that this one, 0.001, it seems like maybe it's not the best, but it's uh, on the same level as others. So we decided to go with this. So then we trained our final model. We combined uh, uh, training and validation data set into one uh, full train data set. And uh, we again uh, used this prepare X function that is very convenient. And we trained our final model. And we also saw how to apply this model uh, to a car for which we don't know the price. So, well, actually we know because this is the test data set, but we pretend that we don't know the price for this car. So we predicted uh, the price, which wasn't that off from the actual price. So in the next, uh, I will not make a video for this one. It will be just text. So I read it uh, through. So there are, uh, I'll talk about other things you can try to learn about the topic better. And of course, after that, there will be homework where you'll try to uh, do this, what we learned uh, yourself. And then finally, in the next section, we will talk about uh, classification. And there, instead of implementing things ourselves, like we did here, we will use a library, uh, we will use scikit-learn for implementing all this thing. So we now saw how we can implement uh, things ourselves, and now we are ready to use a library. So see you soon.